Dropped Shoulder Long Sleeve Hoodie. To prepare for making the hoodie, please first load the basic t-shirt and the female V2 avatar in the library window. Then hit the spacebar key to activate simulation and drape the t-shirt onto the avatar. Choose opaque surface to check the fit of the t-shirt. Looking at the avatar, our shoulder line for this garment is too short for a dropped shoulder hoodie. Hold down the control key and drag the outer shoulder point of both the front and back patterns. Then right click to enter 60 millimeters manually in distance moved. Because the shoulder length has been extended, please lower the sleeve crown by 30 millimeters. Choose the Edit Curve Point tool, delete the points which are higher than the sleeve crown, and add points to make a short straight line. Since the sleeve curve is smoother, Please adjust the curve points along the armhole to make this curve smoother too. Try to make the angle between the armhole line and the shoulder line a right angle. Select the center front line and right click to merge the front patterns into a single pattern. Follow the same steps for the back patterns. Move the hemlines of the body patterns higher to reduce the length of the garment. Select the hemlines, then choose Offset as Internal Line in the right-click pop-up menu. Enter 45 mm in the Distance field, and hit OK. Then right mouse click on the internal line and choose Cut and Sew in the pop-up menu to cut the hem apart from the body patterns. Move the bottom point of the side line in 30 mm to widen the waist circumference. Adjust the bottom point of the center lines to be 30 millimeters lower. Then choose the Edit Curve Point tool to adjust the straight lines to curves. Click on the lines and drag the curve points. Please try to make this angle a right angle. With these curves, there will be more folds averaged along the waistband. Now you can see the back center is too long. Please move the bottom points higher. And adjust the curve points to make the curve smoother. Repeat these steps until the waistband is horizontal. Move the bottom armhole points 15 millimeters to add the bust of the front and back patterns. Delete the unnecessary point at the sleeve opening. Drag the opening vertically to add to the length of the sleeves. Since the 3D meshes may break when extended, Please arrange the sleeve patterns again and simulate. The sleeve opening is too wide. Use Change Length in the right-click pop-up menu to adjust it. Adjust the length to 280 millimeters. Select both as the direction to adjust the length from the middle. 
Since we're going to cut the sleeve cuff from the sleeve pattern, we can make it a little bit longer. Use offset as internal line to create a cut line for the cuff. Then choose Cut and Sew in the right click pop up menu to separate the cuff while creating a sewing line at the same time. Click the point in the longer segment, then click the point below and choose Align to Right or Left in the right click pop up menu. Then the lines will now have the same length. Drag the marquee box to shorten the width, activate simulation, and the sleeve cuff will tighten. Freeze the cuff to maintain its shape. Adjust the sleeve to make it longer. Since the cuff is frozen, you can drag the sleeve to adjust its draping. Then unfreeze the cuff patterns and activate simulation to drape. Create a rectangle pattern with a width of 500 mm and a height of 500 mm. Then arrange it to the side of the avatar's head. Change the shape style to flat. It will help us to draw the hood pattern more easily. Use the Select Line 3D Pattern tool, then click on the pattern to draw lines based on the avatar's head shape. Hold the Control key, click to create curve points, then click the Start Point to finish the closed shape. Then choose the Edit Line 3D Pattern tool. Choose Cut in the right click pop up menu. Delete the unnecessary curve points and convert the segment point to a curve point to make it smoother. Select half of the neckline and check the length total in the property editor. Then drag the point horizontally to adjust the bottom line of the hood to be closer to this length. Please adjust the curve of the back of the head to be similar to what this video shows. In this shape, there will not be too many folds along the sewing line. Then create a symmetrical pattern. Use the gizmo tool to move the symmetric pattern to the other side of the head. Then choose the segment sewing tool to create sewing lines. Then select the Free Sewing tool, click the point, and move your mouse along the sewing line, then click. Then hold down the Shift key. Do the same with the necklines. Please make sure the sewing notches match. If the hood looks too tight, you can adjust the points or segments to make the pattern longer. Adjust the angles to form right angles. It will help make the pattern outline smoother after sewing. Hold down the control key while dragging the upper point of the hood to adjust the length along the slope of the curve. Adjust the hood shape as needed. We recommend that you adjust the points instead of adjusting the whole curve. It will help you maintain the basic shape of the hood. Then drag the hood to the back of the avatar and adjust it to form a nice shape. Drag the part near the shoulder line and make sure it will flip over cleanly. Choose Internal Polygon Line Tool, then click from the center front line to draw the pocket line. When you create the internal shape, hold down the Control key, then click to create curve points.
Select the front pattern, choose Layer Clone over in the right-click pop-up menu. Then cut the pocket pattern off from the cloned pattern. Now we have a pocket pattern which is automatically arranged near the body pattern. Then you can use the Free Sewing Tool or Segment Sewing Tool to sew the pocket lines to the internal lines. Navigate to the Materials folder in the library, then drag the Knit Cotton Jersey over to the Fabric to apply it.